coming down from the skies. I am Rainteen. Today we'll be traveling to New Mexico, specifically Alamogordo. It's pretty much two or more places, and we'll see how it goes. And have a great time there. We have finally arrived at the Alamogordo Air Base, the military. Um, so this is where we're at, and then I don't know what's going to be happening over there, but we're all parked and we're just walking over there. Get inside the planes, like that one right there. So as you make your way there, and there's other planes we can look at. This plane is massive. You could actually look inside, which I'll try to get in with all this crowd. available pretty much a lot so many planes around it that looks so cool that looks pretty sharp pretty much a big long walk and that's how far I've been walking there's still more let me just flip it yep there's still more vendors more vehicles to check oh my god it's big fun another big plane oh my god it's a lot more and there's another one right there looks like you could go in I'll check it out Right. 
they'll probably have something new by the time. Yeah. This is where we're at. <laughs> where do you, right. where do, you right. do the boom at? All the way in All the way back. Yeah, absolutely. But back there, you can see our big window. You could step out there. It's pretty small. It's almost time for the show. Oh, check it out. You want to check it out? Oh, no. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you watch your phone with those glasses or anything. You lost yeah. forever. Oh, look at those. So I'll on my belly. Do it crawl in there. Got shin rest and your feet go back there. So we're flying around that big pole in the back of the plane, the wings on it. It's called the boom. We lower that down and with your right hand, if you reach down, you'll see a stick. Yep, I got it there. So I use that to fly the boom around. And then my left hand goes in that other stick. Cool. Yep. That's a telescoping uh, stick. It goes in and out. Going back. Pretty cool. Thank you so much for stopping by. How's it going? Hello. Wow. Awesome. You've ever been in a cockpit before? Mm, no, I don't think so. No. It's been a very long time. All right, so, uh, yeah, so this is a 1963 year model airplane. Uh, most of the 135s were built in the 50s and 60s. Um, classic Boeing, yoke and everything. Um, we have upgraded engines. We have upgraded avionics. Uh, that allowed us to get navigator used to sit here. But when we got a, a flight management system, uh, there was really no need for the navigators. But now the boom operator sits here. This airplane flies with three crew members. Uh, is this a minimal normally? So a pilot, co-pilot, and the boom operator. And the pilot's job is just basically to get uh, the airplane uh, to meet up with another airplane and just get the boom operator to do his job. Whoa. Yeah. That seems a lot of people to manage this. Wow. Looks cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. They have But wait, an MQ-9 Reaper call sign Mustang 2-6 has established overhead at 20,000 feet. But
not the perfect picture yet of Team Undaunted. You're going to want to get that. The professional photographers that are here today were just telling me a minute ago that this is the perfect sky with the smoke behind these airplanes and get spectacular airborne pictures. So you're going to want to capture this for a memory to take with you long after the engines have quieted down this afternoon. the show is really crazy because of those very close encounters of these jets and everything else is really nice and be able to experience inside the planes which is wow some are pretty big some are pretty tight but that's how the military is so we're going to the next location Right now, we are at Cloudcroft City, small old town, so we're at the shopping area. Pretty much gonna close soon, so let's try to make things quick and yeah. Let's see if this gas station is open, which should be. All right, we're going in. Looks pretty big in there.
Yeah, just the usual gas station. Pretty uncommon to have those uh, frozen foods here. And yeah, we're at a small playground for about five to twelve years old. And there's something vintage over there. Looks like a train. I'm gonna get a little closer look. So this is the train. Looks like you can get in, have fun, role play. Wow, look at that. I've never seen one of those in my life, but this is really nice. It's been ages. Uro Street Bakery. There, that's the name that we're going to. Looks like you could put a pen where you've been through or where you live, let's see. It's a lot. We're at, we're going in Instant Karma. Ugh. Looks nice so far, but unfortunately most of the stores are already closed. Whew, finally back home. Leave a like, subscribe, see you next time. Bye!